On this week's episode, we discuss the importance of knowing the difference between organic versus non-organic, grass-fed versus grass-finished. Welcome to episode 22 of the Lifestyle Construction Show. I'm Billy Weiss and I'm excited that you're here to learn more about optimal health, wellness, and fitness. Before we get into today's show, I want to remind you about two upcoming chances to come to a class and learn all about our Lifestyle Construction Program. They're coming up on Tuesday, September the 20th at 6.30 p.m. and Saturday, September the 24th at 8.30 a.m. Both of those classes will be in our Kings Mountain Prescriptions Plus location, 703 East King Street. We would love to have you come and learn more about how to fuel your body to get optimal results. So today's show, we're going to talk about some of those ways. One of the things that I talk about a lot throughout the 12 weeks of these classes that I give in the program is that we have to always make sure that we're fueling our body with only the best. We have to make sure of the quality and the sources and all these different aspects of everything we put in, food, drink, supplements, anything that's going inside of us, we need to be super careful about what it contains, what it was grown in, what it ate, all these things. And so we're going to try to break down just a few of those simple things today. One of the things we want to look at is organic versus non-organic um, when it comes to that option. Certainly, if we can always find local grown that is what we want to try to do because we can look the person in the eye and ask them what they have put on it or how they've grown it and the processes they've gone through. Do they rotate their crops so we're not depleting nutrients in the soils? And we can ask those questions. So we like to go directly to people who grow. One of the great places to find those places today is through local farmers markets. And they're se they seem to be making a real comeback and seem to be popping up in a lot of towns and cities now where the farmer's markets are there Saturdays, a lot of them, and some of them even a day or two during the week. So we introduce you in the program to the folks that we know at the farmer's market and we know how they do it and, and that they do rotate their crops and they do do organic as much as possible and they limit the use of chemicals. And that's important because those chemicals can certainly have a negative effect on our body and on our health. And so again, we need to fuel ourselves with only the best. Some of these chemicals can actually be toxic to our body. Many of the fertilizers and things that are used today to keep uh, pesticides and herbicides to keep insects off of our uh, things that are grown can be very harmful to us. They can affect our hormones negatively. They can affect our weight loss. They can affect whether we gain or lose weight. So all these different aspects need to be considered. So if we can choose an organic from a local farmer, that is always the best option that we can do. Sometimes that may not be possible, and so we need to go and find the best source that we can. And certainly we want to make sure that we're washing off anything that we can off the outside of vegetables and things before we eat them also. A question that comes up a lot is grass-fed versus grass-finished versus grain-fed beef. So let's just break it down into really simple terms. Grain-fed is going to be the less desirable option that we have because many of the grains are genetically modified. Many of, of these cows are on feedlots. So it's just not the most healthy environment, number one, for the animals and certainly not for us to put into our bodies. They are typically given high doses of hormones and antibiotics in these feedlots and they're fed, again, genetically modified corn and soy and different things. This is probably not the best choice for us because we are eating what our beef has eaten, what the cow has eaten. So we need to keep that in our minds because this can, again, affect hormone levels. This can, again, affect our gut bacteria or our good bacteria in our body, in our gut. And so all these things, we think we're not taking antibiotics, but if the cow ate antibiotics, we will be getting some of that antibiotic effect. 
If the cow had hormones, we'll be getting some of that hormone effect. And all these things can, can have an effect on our hormone systems and our optimal health, wellness, and fitness. So grain fed would be least desirable. Grass fed. So there's a lot of controversy and a lot of questions arise about grass fed. Grass fed means that the cow has been fed grass sometime in its life. Grass fed, grass finished means that the cow has eaten grass its entire life. That is the best and most desirable option, grass fed, grass finished, because that is the way that the cow is best able to produce the healthiest fat content in the meat for us then to consume. And research and evidence has shown that cows that are grass fed in the beginning and the last several weeks of their lives are grain fed, have some of the same effects as being grain fed the whole time. Now maybe not entirely, but it certainly changes the fat content of that beef to not be nearly as desirable, nearly as optimal as the grass fed grass finished. So you go to the farmer's market and you ask, is this grass fed or is this grass fed grass finished? And that's the beauty of dealing with local folks. And um, we can certainly, again, week one, we go out and introduce you to these folks. We actually even carry a grass-fed, grass-finished beef in our pharmacy. Um, so there's all kind of options today to get grass-fed, grass-finished beef. So make sure you ask, not just grass-fed, but ask about the finished part. Which leads us right into also poultry, like chickens, eggs. Are they hormone antibiotic free? Do they eat genetically modified feed? Or do they eat bugs and grass and things that chickens are meant to eat and when they do you'll notice not only a difference in the taste of the chicken and the taste of the eggs but in the way that the eggs look there's a drastic difference in the color of the yolks of eggs that are from chickens that are not fed these genetically modified things and they're free range they're able to run around they're not in a cage with a door open they're actually free range chickens that can move around and about in a field like they were designed to do so just some simple things that we can do to look for the best sources of beef and vegetables and chicken and eggs that we can put in our bodies. So when we do this, we give our body the optimal fuels that it needs to start functioning at its highest level. We combine that with our high fat, quality protein, quality carbohydrate plan, and we just see amazing results. And that's what we want to introduce you to in the two upcoming classes that I mentioned. I really hope that you learned something that can help you make a better choice and a more informed decision and ask the right questions. Visit your local farmer's market this weekend and start going and investigating what's out there. You might be shocked at how much really high quality, organic, or grass-fed, grass-finished, all natural things that you can find locally and you can look at somebody in the eye and know them face to face. It's always good to deal with local folks. As always, please share this on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook. Please go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. And you can sign up for the classes that I discussed at the website listed below. See you next week. I wanted to look at the latest science, the latest research, but I also included what over these past 25 years has worked.